Hello everyone, this is another episode of Binary Essential, and uh, I know I've been slacking a little bit with these videos, but I hope uh, you'll see another one towards the end of this month. And anyway, uh, let's look at the chart a little bit and also talk about some uh, things that I've been wanting to get off my chest. Uh, for people that, that are my friends as well in the crypto space and other things that I've seen patterns of people uh, starting to um, manifest. So let me talk further while talking about the numbers. Now, Bitcoin has been on a steady uh, bear market decline right now, but it's still hovering in the 8,000 mark. Uh, I think in the last few weeks that began this year, uh, we've seen it as low as 7,000. Um, but don't worry, people. I mean, just the, several years back, it was, you know, what it was. It was a lot cheaper. So I'm not too afraid. Um, I'm still making profit on a lot of things. There's things I'm losing money off. Obviously, I'm losing money right now, but not like a lot of other people. But I'm still in the green on a, on a couple of things. Uh, Ethereum right now, I'm losing money. So I just let you know, guys, whoever has Ethereum, if you didn't buy it cheap, and I did buy it cheap at one point, but then I, you know, things buy and sell every time. So, uh, what I've been doing is uh, gathering just coins that I or currencies that I needed or tokens that I needed now that are cheaper. Um, so I've been doing that, and um, hopefully um, things bounce back. We get over the ten thousand mark um, in the next few weeks, hopefully. So. Um, as you see here, everything is going down. There's not really much of a positive side, but we can check anything positive today. So Ion, which I've heard some stuff about, has been doing positive. And you know Digix, DAO. Every time that the market is down, for some reason, Digix, DAO is up. Maybe because it has something to do with gold, but I think that's just the path. That's probably the reason. Also surprising me, um, dental coin has been up so it's a um, Siren, Siren Lab token I ha I do ha own some of this token but um, I think I bought it at a higher price so I'm losing money on that one I'm not sure um, so yeah there's, there's a few positives but not too many I think just you have to uh, be patient so what I wanted to talk about more about was that it seems like nowadays people are too the newbies at least the newbies in a, in a way it seems like they all think it, this is easy like oh I just got in I'm not losing my money it's kind of annoying you know though I want to teach this to new people some new people are annoying they just don't then they don't have the stomach for it for one thing, and then they don't have the patience to wait things out. Sometimes I even miss out on opportunities to make more money off of my own uh, investments, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's not going to happen again. And that's why I try to teach new people. Also, it seems like they they think it's a like a a limousine like once you're in it you know you're gonna be rich in a few months no some of the my profits happened <laughs> it took a two year to three year uh, stint of holding these coins for me to see a profit so it happens and some people don't want to wait that long but that's how things are it's, it doesn't things don't just happen overnight because if it was like that if I knew what 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 uh currencies were gonna go get hot and be pumped then I would um 
be a rich man right now, but it's not, that's not the whole, that's not the whole premise. You know, some people don't get that you can make money while holding. Yes, you can do some um, different strategies. Some people just do one whole strategy, right? I don't do that type. Of, I do maybe three or four strategies with different portfolios, with different money, and that's how I do things. So then all these strategies are being tried out and see which one is more better than the other over time, you know, because I'm, I'm, I just started um, trading probably in 2013, so I'm it's only been a few years and I'm still learning as I go. Like anyone that, that actually says they're a expert in, in uh, trading or cryptocurrencies or anything like that, most of them are telling me. They're just, they're just BSing me, seriously. So uh, I think the, the best strategy, if you want to be true to yourself, is to invest in projects that you believe in that is the most important thing and usually when you believe in a project it's because you've researched it you've done your due diligence you um, see that the, the the people involved are being transparent as much as they, they can and that's what um, it should always be so um, think before you, you do these investments. I'm not your financial advisor. Um, have I ever have I ever given advice to people that um, was wrong? Of course. Have I ever given advice to people um, advice to people that um, that they uh, lost money or gained money? Yes, several. It's either they either make money <laughs> with what I said or they don't. And I always tell them it's it's not it's just I'm trying to uh, align myself with what the the popular people are, are looking into, um, and I try to trade on that sentiments, and then also I try to trade on my own principles and see how what, what how far that gets me because. Uh, I've picked several projects that I believe in, and I, they they have um, gone up in price, and I'm proud to be involved with them. So that's always a good thing. So um, I can't control the background. Also, if you see here anything, just let me, you know. Just let me know because sometimes I don't hear anything. So I don't know if you can hear my mouse. Let me. I'm gonna play this back and see if I can hear my mouse because I was hearing my keyboard before. Just talking about technical stuff, by the way. Um, so, as we can see here, if we talk about volume, of course, Tether is going to be up there um, because of this bear market. People want to keep their um, profits in, in that, that form. Um, but there's other um, products that are, are keeping that form as well. Um, and heavily, heavily uh, violence for some of these currencies in the top, I guess, 30, if you can say that, or even further to the 50s. Um, so, uh, you know what products haven't been uh, suffering that much? Any IOTA product, anything from the IOTA uh, sector, and you know, things. You know, it's pretty early, so you can probably hear a lot of doors open because people are going to work. And so, hopefully, you don't hear all that noise. But um, that is about it. I don't know what else to say really right now. Um, as I show you your, these numbers, um, just remember that most of the market is dictated by Bitcoin at the moment. So as the price goes up. All coins will go up, and that's what we have to uh, focus on right now, because people keep forgetting that. Um, so I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just uh, looking at things, I guess. So 
that is the whole reason for this video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, share. Uh, let me know what, what I can do to improve. Um, I'm just trying to always improve my channel. Um, probably going to invest in another, another phone or another camera just so I can have a, a second camera that records in HD and could uh, be used for several other reasons because I mean nowadays phones are not very, not that expensive so might as well take advantage if you, you can get good phones for, for fairly cheap and as long as it has a battery that I can remove and stuff like that then it should be fine um, so I'll talk to you guys later you know what to do if you haven't done it yet please do it and uh, I'll be coming out with new video probably by the end of the month if I find any other interesting subjects, there might be three videos this month. Who knows? So I'll see you guys later.